Hey you guys, Total Reactions here and today I'm going to react to something new. Not long ago I learned something about a new show titled Wednesday. A couple of days ago I opened Netflix because I wanted to watch another episode of The Big Bang Theory and I saw an ad of a girl, grumpy looking, kind of scary, was an ad about a new show titled Wednesday and I thought, hmm, must be a special Wednesday. I immediately thought of the Adams Family and I absolutely don't know why uh, because I've never watched anything of the Adams Family. So I looked it up and I learned that Wednesday is actually the name of one of their kids, of their daughter. And then a couple of days later my sister asked me if I watched this show. And I said no, and she was like, then do it. When she likes this show, then I think I should give it a try. And um, it only has eight episodes, so there's not that much time I would have to invest if I liked it, the pilot. So let's get into it. Pull yourself together. <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm not about to confess to my brother that I've recently been plagued by visions. The only person who gets to torture my brother is me. It's kind of an overkill, but okay. Jesus Christ. That boy's family was going to file attempted murder charges. How really? I've looked on your record. Terrible. Everyone would know I failed to get the job done. Wednesday is certainly a unique name. Oh. I'm guessing it was the day of the week you were born. I was born Brienne. on Friday the 13th. Her name comes from a line from my favorite nursery rhyme. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Oh God. Howdy, Rumi. Wednesday, this is Enid Sinclair. Are you feeling okay? You look a little pale. Wednesday always looks half dead. <laughs> Look at you, my little death trap. Seeing you <laughs> little you death trap, trap. Jesus. So Those nicknames. I would have thought the family, uh, the Adams family, that they were like close. Don't worry. But apparently, life. they're not. Your followers are clearly imbeciles. They respond to your stories with insipid little pictures. You mean emojis? It's how people express their feelings. You know, I realize that's a foreign concept to you. When I look at you, the following emojis come to mind. Rope, shovel, hole. By the way, there are two Ds in Adams. I try to match the right flower to each of my girls. And when I read your personal statement in your application, I immediately thought of this one. The Black Dahlia. Oh, you know it? Of course. It's named after my favorite unsolved murder. No masks, no tips. Winner draws first blood. It's your decision, Bianca. What kind of teacher is he? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Your face finally got that splash of color it's so desperately needed. Mm. And then I looked up and I saw that gargoyle coming down at me and I thought, well, at least I'll have an imaginative death. <laughs> then you tackled me out of the way. Why? Call it instinct. Hello, Finn. <laughs> Did you really think my highly trained olfactory sense wouldn't pick up on the faint whiff of neroli and bergamot in your favorite hand lotion? <laughs> I could do this all day. Thing? It's called thing? Surrender? Ew. I hope we can forge a relationship that based Novitsky on trust and slot respect. from it's the Big Bang Theory. A sanctuary where we can discuss anything. 
What you're thinking, feeling, your views on the world, personal philosophy. That's easy. I think that this is a waste of time. I see the world as a place that must be endured. And my personal philosophy is kill or be killed. That's why you're here. He lost a testicle. I did the world a favor. People like Dalton shouldn't be allowed to procreate. Oh. I've answered all your questions. I'll tell you what, Wednesday, to show my appreciation, how about I drive you to Burlington myself? Perfect. Put that quad in a to-go cup. Uh, well, I don't get off for another hour. I'll sweeten the pot. I can't be bought, so either wait or find someone else to drive you. Ooh. Guys, back off. Stay out of this, Galpin. Yes, yeah, stay out of this. Hey. <laughs> This little thing took down three boys? Did you help her? That, I swear, wasn't involved. A Polish sheriff. This one slipped away from me. I hope the driver's okay. He's dead. Broke his neck. Not in a tough one, Sangle. Become a lone wolf? Sounds perfect. Are you kidding me? A wolf needs its My pack. life would be officially over. I'd be kicked out of my family pack with no prospect of finding a mate. I'm failing to see the problem here. I could die alone. We all die alone, Enid. You really suck at this. <laughs> this isn't weird at all. <laughs> That's thing. Is he like your pet? He's sensitive. Okay, I know Nevermore is ground zero for all things weird, but this is a next level. I have to kill you. The gargoyle. That was you? The girl in the picture. That's you. You want to kill me because of some picture. My mother drew that picture 25 years ago when she was a student at Nevermore. My mother said it was my destiny to stop this girl if she ever came to Nevermore because she will destroy the school and everyone in it. What the hell is that? Ooh. I narrowly avoided death twice. Discovered that my father may be a murderer. Learned that I could potentially destroy the school. And was mysteriously saved by a homicidal monster. I think I'm going to love it here. I would interpret this a little bit differently. Maybe you can say that it looks like she's going to destroy the school. What about him? Or you can say that he's trying to destroy the school and she tries to save it. That's how I would see it, because this guy looks a little bit more dangerous than her. I don't know. So I'm not sure about that. But um, because of this page, now she wants to stay there, I guess. Of course, there had to be a reason for her to stay because she wanted to escape the school. Um. Yeah, but first things first, it's intriguing. I kind of like it. I have to say, I really like the actress of Wednesday. I don't know her. I have no idea who she is, but I kind of like her. I mean, Wednesday is kind of scary. She's rude as fuck. She doesn't give a shit about others, I guess. That's why I like her. <laughs> yeah, I would like to know more about the Adams family, the parents, um, Gomez and Morticia, they are in a healthy marriage, I think. But she doesn't seem to care about her parents. Not really. And is that how it's in the Adams family? I don't know. I would like to know. Also, the. No, not the thing. Thing. Is it also a part of the Adams family, the original? And if so, why is there a living hand? What's its story? I would like to know, but she said it's a mystery. No one knows, apparently. Yeah, a lot of names. Bianca Savior. Is that, I think. 
Ajax or Jax, I'm not sure. Enid and Tyler. I can see something and I don't know if I really like it. The boy, like Tyler, he seems to be interested in Wednesday and also this long haired dude, Savior, him too. So is, is there a, gonna be a love triangle? Because I don't want I don't want a love triangle. Absolutely not. To be honest, I don't know if it fits the show. Does this show need a love story? Right now, I would say absolutely not. I absolutely don't want a love story. So mm, please keep it down, guys. I'm not interested. Because it would be interesting to have at least one show in existence without a love story. <laughs> or one teen drama mystery show. I don't know what it actually is. But yeah, we have a murder mystery, something like that. At least um, Gomez Adams, maybe a killer. That's one thing she wants to find out, I believe. And we have the monster. And this monster is... It reminds me of something. I feel like I've seen something like this before. It looks... I mean, it's very disgusting. But I, ha I don't know. So yeah, I would like to learn more about Wednesday. She's interesting. Also, I would like to see more of the Adams family, but I don't think we are going to see a lot of them because the show is mainly about Wednesday and she's not at home. And what is she, by the way? There are sirens and werewolves and vampires. What exactly is she? Is she a witch? And is her mother a witch? I mean, she has visions. Does she have visions in the original? And also, um, I don't know if she was a teacher or not. This um, red-haired lady. She also looks very familiar, but I think she reminds me of a German actress a little bit, maybe. Because I don't think I, I've never seen her in anything, so... Yeah. And Brienne von Tarth, oh, I don't know how to say it. She's also in the show. That's that's cool. A very different character, of course, but yeah, I like her. She's great. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. I'm definitely going to watch the next episode. I'm intrigued. It's interesting. I would like to know if this show um, makes me want to watch a movie of the Adams Family with Angelica Houston because she looks amazing. I've seen so many pictures, but I've I don't know why I've never watched a movie. A movie? The movie? I don't even know how many movies there are. Or is there just, just one? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to see you guys in episode two. Until then, goodbye guys.